What's going on guys, Blanking here and welcome to my playthrough for Black Tail. So Black Tail is an actual adventure game that has a unique combat style focused on archery, set place in a vibrant fairy tale world following the legend of Baba Yaga. Now that's pretty much everything that I know about the game so with that said let's just jump straight into it and see what is it that this game is gonna have in store for us, let's do this. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. It was well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. Oh, so they're gonna be telling the story while we do things? That's cool. X. Square for us. Yaga, I'm coming. Oh, this is cool so far. Are they gonna say what are we gonna do while we do it? Is that the case of this game? Something's ahead. Wait, do I wanna dash? No, I want to draw the arrow, right? Or do you want me to dodge? I always make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. And a bit of work to put them together. Craft an arrow? How do we do that? LB, okay. And then we can craft a couple of them. X for max. Max it out, baby. Can we kill those things now? Is always up to something. Can you see it? See what? The tree. The red oak. Find the red oak. What are you talking about? The red oak. Okay, so now it's teaching you. Press for a short distance shot. Long shot so you hold it. Okay, a power shot, so now you hold RT until charge for a long distance shot, dealing a critical damage. Or if you want to aim, then you can press LT. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Nice. That's good to see. We've often used it for target practice. To the targets, those things. Take a good look at it. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck. How about you finally go down your own path? Uh, let's be friendly for the path of light. Anyone? I still don't want to. I always try to do what's right. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> you got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Ooh, How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You want to hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, princess. I, I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn oak. What you really want to find is... the hut. <gasps> what? Hi. Is it drilling into your little head? The hut. The hut! Just another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Zora went missing. I 
finally know where to look for her. But first I have to get some food to get my strength back. Okay, so first of all, we have really long nails. Second, this game for some reason reminds me of Green Hell. Barbara the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Volko, Slavitsa, Dragoy. Oh, so we can actually invest points into multiple items. So, Potion of Vitality. Can we invest on in it? We cannot. We don't have anything that we can invest on so far. Does it tell me what do I need to level it up? It does. It does tell you. Okay, so what do we need for this? One heart. So we probably need to kill an animal to be able to check it out. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see. What are we going to kill now? Pull the bow. So far, this game is really interesting. It reminds me a lot of the forest or green hell. We can grab multiple items left and right, that's cool. Can we swim on this? No, oh, we cannot. Okay, that, that answers the question. <laughs> breathe, breathe, take it easy. We're almost there and we're just starting the game. Can we rest to like replenish our health? No, we cannot. Okay, let's walk around. Based on the description of the game and the story that they're trying to tell, everything looks fantastic. Like it looks really interesting. Like it wants the fruit. Can I? It makes a pretty cool sound. Uh, can I make some arrows? Yes, we can. Let's max it out. That's my good deed for the day. Okay. So, headshot. It's unclear why headshots desire fruit so much as their diet consists mostly of worms and insects. In any case, they seem to be grateful for your assistance in reaching out the goal. So it seems like we can pick up the, the path of just killing the animals and feed on them, or we can help them. Now, I got the feeling that everybody and their mom is going to go for killing them. So I'm just going to be friendly and I'm going to help them out so that way I can give you guys a separate experience. So this is going to be an introduction to the game. I'm going to try to cover the first hour or so, so... It's a big one. I hope I can take it down. So you guys can kind of like decide whether or not this is the type of game that you guys want to play. So far, the game looks absolutely beautiful. In case you guys are wondering, I'm playing it on Ultra. And I have a GTX 2060. Plus, I'm recording. So if you have a GTX or a little bit less, a 1080 or something, you might be able to play it in Ultra. The game looks absolutely beautiful. Though. Okay, so it seems like there's nothing around. Can I kill a, a crow or something? If I see them, I'll kill them. Should be fine. Flowers, can I grab them? No. Ugh. I've, I've never been a huge fan of games where I have to collect stuff just because I end up like sidetracking so much just to be able to collect everything. Can I grab anything in here? We cannot. I can't go back. Not without Zora. So it started to rain, and I gotta say, the rain also looks pretty nice. Do we have details in the water? Oh, so I thought for a second that you do see some drops, I believe. No? Yeah, you do see the drops. So that's a nice little detail right there. I really appreciate when games do that. That's the deer. But I can always just... I mean, let's crouch. Are you going to tell me when to shoot or I can shoot whenever? Because if I can shoot whenever, I'm just going to take my shot right now. Oh shit. Uh... Yes! He's tough. It'll need more than one shot. Okay, we actually did a pretty good job right there. It was a crit. Unfortunately, we missed the shot. Well, we didn't miss the shot. He has a lot of health, but we took away half of it. So that's pretty good. I wonder if you were always gonna take half of the health, no matter what shot were you gonna take. Or if this is actually gonna make it so we skip one part. Can we actually kill the uh, one of the birds? I want to see if we can actually do that. That would be pretty cool. 
Okay, let's see. Can I aim? Mmm, that was a miss. No. Okay, I need to kill one of them. No, no, no. One. Maybe... Oh, what a shot! Oh my god! Yo, hey, after that shot, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe the video if you actually enjoy that shot. Uh, do we need to take them down? What is that? I wonder if we're actually supposed to grab some of those things or like actually killing them. Hello. Oh, Bambi. Okay, I mean... It just gives me feathers. That makes me sad. Where is Bambi? Oh, there. Hello. Ba oh, we don't have arrows. Okay, we need to create some arrows. That's fine. What a shot. Goodbye. Give me the heart, maybe? It shall flow through my heart forever now. Because we are one. Now meat goes over the fire. I'm hungry. So we can open up the map and we can actually see where to go. Can I actually, yeah, we can place a waypoint. Can I teleport? Okay, so... Can I see where... Oh, yeah, we can see it in the in the top. If you see at the top in the map, you can clearly see where you see that we're going. Okay, let's keep walking straight and just go around. We should be able to find our goal. New place. There's some ice, so I'm guessing that at some point we're going to have to like find a, a torch, a flare, or something that would allow us to, to melt these things. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. Who knows? Since so, so we have some chicken... Some feathers. <laughs> chicken feathers. Some ice. Can we climb? Yes, we can. A bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote. Just in case. Or oh, just kill it. Uh, that thing just went up, so I missed a shot. Is it alive? Hmm. Okay, let's make an antidote just in case, but... How am I supposed to craft it? Here it is. So you do need ice if you want to craft it. Okay, so ice actually has a purpose in this game. I wonder why would you even need an antidote? But anyways, these are the eyes that we actually need if we want to improve our skills in the in the in the skill tree. <laughs> Grab an arrow, I guess we missed it. And now that we're in here, oh, we can keep jumping up. Okay, go up. We have a chicken right there. Nothing to worry about. Keep your eyes open, cause these monsters trap birds just for fun and try to force them open. Uh, we did try. We killed the, <laughs> we killed the chicken that was inside too. But I guess that's perfectly fine. Maybe we should have freed it instead of killing it. We would have gotten some extra benefits, but I guess that's not the case. Everything in this game looks so absolutely, outstandingly beautiful. People have always accused me of helping Baba, called me a, a freak. What is that? Disappeared too. There was nobody left to keep the angry mob away. So, here I am, finding my sister is my only option now. I need to get to the Red Oak. I mean, we'll get to the Red Oak in a second, but... I am curious as to... Why is there a huge... Why is there a huge bunny out there? I am not sure. We can climb down from here, maybe? And just grab the owls? What are we gonna do with them? I'm not sure. Can I can I force it open? Yes. So you can free them. Okay, so it was my mistake for killing the It was my mistake for killing the the bird on the first try. 
So that's my bad. At the very least, we know now that we just gotta get close and we can free them instead. We're gonna try to follow the path of light. But if anybody try to stop me, I'm gonna heal them. Okay? Like, I'm not gonna be playing nice against enemies that are gonna try to kill me. Plus, I get hungry, so if I gotta kill something, I will kill it too. Maybe shortcut? No? What is this sign? What do you even mean? <laughs> like, so far, based on the little that I have played of this game, it makes me wanna, like, learn more about the whole story of the legend of Baba. That, that, that sounds really interesting to know. The legend of Baba Yaga. Oh, can we... Is that what we're supposed to do? No, no, I, I think I think that's what... Catch the flames to roast the meat. Okay, okay, that makes sense. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty interesting minigame. So far, so good. Looks fine. Player server icon displays various temporary conditions affecting Yaga. Some of them are positive, regeneration, haste and focus some of them have negative confusion slow down and poison i'm guessing depending on how good or bad i cook the meat so we can we can check the different statuses i guess wait what is this oh you can click on them to read morality commit good deeds or evil to tilt your morality your moral stance will affect some of your skills there is certain place that will dodge you every time you visit Altering your moral stance. Okay, um, I don't know why. I have the feeling that this is one of those games that it will force you to like, like it's gonna show you pretty cool stuff in in the. Can I? I cannot. It's gonna it's gonna give you a lot of negative stuff that you're gonna wanna grab, but the game is just gonna tell you, nah. I don't I don't feel like giving it to you. We need some teeth. That's for sure. Looking for a lost sister. Was that a, a lost spirit? I'm not sure what was that, but yeah, I mean, let's go. Oh, oh look at the hands. Yo, my hands are ugly as fuck. What the hell is wrong with this forest? Hmm. Bobo. That's what it is. Bobox are enigmatic creatures with eyes and ears all over the forest. They might have a few remarks on your journey, should you knock them down. The remains, shellocks, are valuable alchemical ingredients. So we use them for crafting stuff. Great. Maybe bombs? Resources? Sure. So if we want to craft something, yeah, nothing that we can craft right now. Let's make some more arrows, just in case. We wanna be capped out. And oh, through the way. Oh, we have a dash. Nice. Wait. Where are you leading me? Oh no. It's the hut. The one we saw three years ago. The same that haunts my every dream. I'll just sneak a peek. Look for any sign of Zora. Are those feet? Are those nails? What the? F Yo, this place is creepy. This place is tripping balls. I do not want to mess up with whatever. Listen, whoever was creating this. Bow before the master of the house. I'll give you that. This is creepy. Really creepy. Is that a cat? Can I pet the cat? They're hissing, huh? And now we have that music playing on the background. Mm -mm. My mask. It's trembling. Oh. So we just opened up the book. The cauldron. You can unlock new skills and upgrade near the cauldron. Each recipe requires different ingredients. Some skills are locked and require a unique lost page to be brewed. Press Y to display info about skills. You've already collected one heart. You can brew potions of vitality now. 
So I'm guessing those are the ones that can help me heal. So where did I get the heart? I'm not sure, but... This is what the game is asking me to do, so I'll do it. So my guess is that you kill animals and then it gives you stuff. So we're missing a lot of things. I mean, you guys can see in the background, uh, in the bottom, what you need for everything. Uh, we need teeth to be able to progress. And deep pockets is something, but we need teeth to be able to do anything. So let's wait for that. Oh, that heart is just an extra one. That sounds fantastic. So we have four hearts instead of three now. That's good. Oh, what a weird place. It actually places. Let's check it out. A little plot of land in front of the hut. The gallery of toads. Cute. Oh, can we can we check that? Can we spec this? Oh, we cannot put anything on it. But we can keep petting the cat. Yo, 10 out of 10 game. Game of the year. You can pet the cat. That's great. Hmm. So now we have those creatures at the bottom that they will probably do damage to me if I try to get close to them. What is that? Can I take it down? Is that like a like a nest? I don't wanna jump that far. Do you guys think that I should jump that far? There's a spider there that you don't wanna mess with. Hmm. Where do I wanna go? I can check the map. Black cat and then investigate the hut. So we're just checking the hut still. What else are we gonna find there? Maybe I have to go to the back of the cat. No, no, no. Yeah, we already checked the hut. So what else do you want me to do? Talk to this maybe one more time. Nope, we already crafted everything that we needed. So I think we're good for the hut. Oh, we can go up. Oh, there you go. Again, but this is not a dream. Well, shit, it isn't. Surprised? Don't you remember all the times I saved your ass before? I... What do you... Better get used to it. This time I'm gonna stay for a good while, princess. I'll also help you get out of this mess you're in. Um... <sighs> The roots have overgrown this place. Ugh. We'll deal with it. Oh, is this... The one who watches over the world. But look what's happened to him. And to the world. Let him feed off of what you've brought. Press the seal. The seal? Your mask. This is kind of messed up. Do I just have to follow it? I don't grab them. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Ah, uh, we... Okay, so that's a little map. Do you guys think that this is my hut? My guess would be that since we are good, we have an evil voice that is following us around. So that is pretty much all that's happening right now. Uh, now, if you would have chosen to be evil instead of good... A, a trail of crumbs? Those goddamn kids always get their crumbs in the yard. <laughs> Do you guys think that we will have a good voice talking to us instead of an evil one? Whoa. Not bad. A short range force wave used for pushing back enemies and breaking obstacles. That's pretty cool. So now we have another power. We just have to press the bottom. Just don't forget that you just have to press it. Probably gonna forget and never use it, but that's fine. Can I? Oh, you just dashed, right? What's going on with my heart? Like, if you guys see on the left, there's a little heart in there. It's draining. It was kind of full at the beginning, but now it's kind of empty. Wait, am I going around? No, right? Yeah, I have to move forward. Forest has been falling with these lately. 
Rushmans. These small scavengers populate a network of underground tunnels spread far and wide below the land. Even though their basic diet consists mainly of carrion, they will not hesitate to hunt for live life prey should the opportunity arise. Pretty cool. So now we have deers, we have those beasts. What else are we going to find? How many enemies do you guys think we're going to have to face in this game? Who's Ragoy? Oh, by God, the bridge is broken. I can't. So you're gonna stand here forever now? I could try jumping over. <sighs> no. Figure out something that makes sense. Find a way to rebuild the bridge. Kind of like that voice, but yeah, this there's there's something about this game that I don't know. It's it's appealing. I like it. That's what I call a good winter. <laughs> You're, you're the giant mushrooms I heard about in old folk tales. I never thought you'd turn out to be real, though. What are you? Oh, oh shoot! A human girl, and she's holding a bow. Should we? Wait. This mask on her face. Don't know why exactly, but it makes her look almost familiar. Not many of your kind coming here. Have you lost your way, girl? Oh, I like her bow. It's such a nice bow. Uh, can I touch it? Uh, did she come alone? Uh, where's she? Keep it down, kids. Can't you see the grown-ups are talking? I'm... I'm looking for someone. And, well, the trail goes over the broken bridge, so... But see, Borvi? The bridge is broken. It must have been the fire drake that burnt it. You mean a dragon? A vile, bloodthirsty reptile? No way you've got a real one here. Of course we haven't. A dragon just happens to be the best cover-up for whoever's behind that honey hustle. Anyway, they call me Borvi Borka. Slippery Jack at your service. My name's Yaga. What kind of name is that? <laughs> What's that short for? Quit your jabbering. I can't hear what she's saying. Would you... Would you happen to know another way across the river? Oh, there is no other way, I'm afraid. We could rebuild the bridge for you, but... Or rather have a bunch of beavers do it for us. Yeah, we sure could do this. But we need to take care of the fire drake first. <sighs> this game is gonna make me kill the dragon right off the get-go? Let's go, yes! You've got a really burning issue here with the beast on your shoulders. But I really need to get across the bridge. So maybe we can help each other out? You seem like a crafty lass. Help us get rid of the beast, and we'll get the bridge fixed for you. Well, I'm not exactly a dragon slaying type. Oh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Go find Rebel, a rather peculiar cursed type. He's a friendly face. Even if it's a bit hard to tell, <laughs> he'll tell you what's what. Dragon or not, this thing needs to be taken care of. But you should start by finding my friend, the Noble Grand Knight, and get yourself a good luck charm, such as a horseshoe. <laughs> In any case, you should follow the dragon's roar. The roar? <laughs> Just go to the caves west from here. All right. I'll see what I can do. Off to a great adventure, I am. <laughs> Hang in there, Zora. Wherever you are. <laughs> Dragon, please. Just solve the case. All right. I'll see what I can do. Pretty weird looking creatures, if you ask me. Now. The game telling me right away to kill a dragon. <laughs> I I I am happy about that, but at the same time, I'm a little bit sad. If you gotta ask me, the main reason why I feel happy and sad at the same time is because don't you guys think that it's a little bit too early for the game to ask me? Hey, listen, what about if you? I cannot kill those creatures, so we gotta be careful with them. Isn't it a little bit too early for the game to introduce a dragon? Or maybe that's what the game wants to do. The game wants to start strong. I mean, I would appreciate that too. So. 
How can I grab that? A Barlock minus a mortal soul makes a Shellock. Mm-hmm. And their souls trapped in between, awaiting their chance. We've all been there. Mm. It can save your sorry ass. You gotta learn every way to crawl out of your own grave. Oh, so we need the flowers in order for us to save. Understood. So I'm guessing if I die, I lose everything. Then we have this guy. Who are you, buddy? I have to go hunting to get some meat first. Uh, I want to be your friend, so let's say hello. Wait. Oh, it's just a regular bag that gives you multiple items. Okay, sure. That sounds good. Okay, so we have a uh, no. Crab. Still alive, still alive, still alive. Do oh, that the that damage. Uh. What? <laughs> the sinister lights leading you straight to hell. Well, I lost. I like it. I do not like those enemies at all. They're not my friends. Give me a flower and let's put a flower in here. Levers of life. Keep on spinning my thread. Oh, it actually restores your health if you do it. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I think I know this place. I was here, like... It's been a year now. Painful memories. Good. Pain means you're not dead. Yet. Okay, so we killed that thing. Can I grab it, though? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Uh, that a, that a deadly plan. Just kill it. Is it dead now? Can I grab the items? Can I... Shit, shit, shit. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, my God. More enemies. Oh, come on. Are you hitting me? Okay. They are dead, but that was bad. Shit. Okay, he's dead. Oh, who are you? Oh my god, am I gonna die? There's no way the game is gonna kill me just now. Can I kill you? Oh no, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Can I can I heal somehow? What is this? Some some feathers? I'll take them. Oh no, this game so far I thought the game was gonna be a little bit milder, but the game wants to kill me right away. And I'm dead! Wow. What happens if I die though? Where do I revive? So we crawl from the dead whenever we die. Okay, that's good to know. Then we have a bird nest. Can I grab whatever it's in there? Yes, we can. And I don't know what did I grab, but can I jump in here? We cannot. Um, There must be a way for me to go on top of it, right? Yeah, just like this. Yeah, we grabbed whatever was inside, so that's pretty good. Ah, we gotta keep following our path, so... Let's ignore the bottom. The bottom seems to be a little bit too dangerous for us just yet. I think I know this place. I was here, like... It's been a year now. Painful memories. Good. Pain means you're not dead. Yet. Okay, so she just repeated whatever. So yeah, they can probably send me back a, a little bit. Which is fine. I mean, it's not the end of the world. At the very least, as long as you're finding those safe spots, you can just keep going. You don't have to worry about too many things. So death is not like so detrimental in this game. It's not that brutal. Not gonna say that I super like it whenever games do that, but I do not dislike it at all. That's a fact. Uh, another safe spot? A cat. Hello there. What did we just do? Oh no. Wait. Well, isn't that interesting? So if you find a cat, you can use the cats to serve as a wayward point back to the hut 
pretty that's actually interesting that's actually pretty interesting uh there is something in there is that like a fruit no it's just a flower okay we can cross the bridge from here but if we want to go to the dragon it seems like we do have to cross the bridge now we can go in here i'm gonna put the waypoint point in here so any way for me to cross all the way over there Maybe across those lands? That looks really creepy. I mean, pretty trippy too. Those colors are really weird. And what are you? Oi, miss. Miss, uh, moment of your time. Oh, uh, good day to you, Mr... Mr. Lava. Not a very good day to be alive, I gotta say. All underworlds are rage. Beholders protesting. Lost souls reading around. Made tunnels blocked by those awful roots. Gotta dig the terrace. It's got me all twisted. Tell me, miss. Did I go up or did I go down? You must have gone up to get here, Mr. Lava. Oh, yes. That's so. Thank you, miss. I should get back to work. Demons aren't going to make themselves, are they? So now that we did a good deed, what happens? So that's for you guys to read. So yeah, now that we did a good deed, what's the point of doing a good deed? Like, is there any benefits to it? And what are you? Can I touch you? Harun, Lord of Thunder, may your light show me the way. Keep me free as the birds on your sky. Okay, so what do you do? Their favor and lack of their office believes to have caused luck and misfortune accordingly. Where are the enemies? I can hear them. Oh, maybe it's a little peek. It feels good to help. Are we done here? Oh, gracious one. I mean, I'm still helping those things and nothing has paid off just yet. So unless it starts paying off, then I'm going to start killing things. I'm just letting you know right away. Like, I, I don't do good deeds, good deeds for no reason. That's that's just something that I don't like doing. I don't want to go down that way. I don't want to be dealing with that thing. There's a, an eagle. That's fine. And there's a couple of enemies in there that we don't want to deal with. That's a bad shot. And oh, did we kill it? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. All I want to do is reach to the place where we're going to be fighting the, the dragon. I really want to do that for you guys today. Oh my god, he's coming my way! Come on! Oh, come on! Oh shit, 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 that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Something's following me, right? I really need to stop missing. I'm really bad at, at these games. And since we're playing with a controller... <laughs> oh, make a wish upon a shooting star. I know that I should be playing with mouse and keyboard this game. Because it does seem like a good game for that. But who knows. You could always shoot the hive down. You little... Did you just trick the bees to get the honey twice? Liar, liar. Wait, did we just lie? Um, okay, so that's my bad, but that's fine. I mean, we, like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but hey, we got whatever we came here to get, so I'm happy about that. Oh, shit. Okay, we're still alive. That's good. Keep walking around. Let's keep going up. And where the heck are we? Yo! Yo! How am I supposed to follow the trail? How am I supposed to get anywhere now? Okay, let's just keep walking around. I'm really, really confused as to where to go now. It seems like, yeah, it seems like if we follow this trail, we might be able to find where we're going. 
give me that. Do we have arrows? We don't, so let's might as well just max them out. We need some branches and some stuff, so we gotta keep our eyes open for the feathers and the branches. Yo, this place is frame city, I'm gonna be honest. Is that a queen mama? Going out with a bang. Well, we took care of them, so now we can grab some more branches. Can we take the care of this? No, we cannot. There's no enemies, and what are you? An ant? Okay. Queen ant. Tremble before our might, puny mortal. Soon. The rivers will flow with the blood of all who dare to oppose the eternal empire of ants. I... I beg your mercy, my queen empress. Enough! Show me the way to the human settlement, so I can lead my merciless army and pour my wrath upon them. Those rivers of blood don't really sound too good to me. There will be no alliance between us, Aunt Queen. Soon, all will know the true meaning of horror. So it seems like she has a lot of swords on her back, which is pretty cool. So it seems like this, this, or decisions do matter. Okay, like don't get me wrong. Like, I, I believe the game was trying to trick us. And in case that you were not reading, the game was like, oh, if they're not reading, they're going to say yes and they're going to help her out. And then they're going to be made doing a bad deed instead of a good one. So pretty, pretty sneaky from the game, I got to be honest. But yeah, at the very least, we actually made the right call, I think. Yeah, I think that that's the correct way to go. So let's check on the other side. Because I don't think there's not going to be a safe spot before the dragon. There has to be one. It only makes sense. It's only fair. What's going on in here? Now, can I touch it? Seems like we cannot touch it. Maybe you can burn it or burn it or something like that, but you cannot touch it. Okay, so that sound sounds like a donkey. If that's the sound of a dragon, then game, don't trick me like that, because that's not how a dragon sounds, okay? That's how a donkey sounds. And then there has to be a safe spot somewhere, right? You you need to give me like a memory place. Don't tell me. I unless the dragon is something that you don't have to kill. Maybe we can just become friends with it. And that's gonna be the answer. Instead of doing something bad, we'll just be we just befriend the guy. A chest. It's a teeth. Finders keepers. You can brew an interesting stew out of it back in the hut. And finally become a hero in your own story. <laughs> so we gotta keep our eyes open because teeth is not something that you gain easily. You actually have to like work for it. Okay, that's that's okay to know. The game is not giving me a safe spot, and I don't like that. I'm scared right now. Well, we're going to be doing our best to kill that thing, so oh, we didn't have a single arrow. That would have been dangerous. Who goes there? A peasant? Have you lost your way to the village, serf? Oh, what a gallant steed you are. Borvi Borko sent me to help you with that honey case. Huh. He sent you? <sighs> well then, it seems the time has come to earn your valor, squire. We need to stop that filthy dragon from gorging on our people. We'll serve it some proper justice instead. Squire, huh? 
How do you propose we proceed, my lord? I have designed a special piece of siege machinery. A work of wonder. We will push it into the dragon's lair, where it shall bestow God's will upon the beast. The problem is we're still missing black powder. I need someone small and sneaky for the job. <sighs> Something tells me this is where I step in. Correct. You'll need to retrieve it from a bloody outlaw's lair. Rebel gods curse his name. Slippery Jack's friend? Why won't you go, sir? Well, uh... <laughs> Good one. Rebel is one of the cursed, of course. And I am a grand. Without further ado, shall we free the land of the dragon's reign? Yeah, let's get started. I think I'm good to go. Uh, I, I mean... I shall not wait any longer to obtain the most wondrous artifact from the Defiler's Domain. <sighs> Splendid! Retrieve the powder! When you're done, you'll find me at my... Anything wrong? Shh. Can you hear it? The enemy is approaching! Stand and fight for your life, Squire! <sighs> there are too many of them. I can kill them all, right? What did you just do? It does that? I used to hate this thing. Stuck on my hand. You've was... almost figured it out. That fancy gauntlet of yours. Learn, act, repeat. One day you'll get the most out of it. I, I, I don't think I can repeat. The cauldron has all the answers. Witch Apprentice. The Witch Apprentice skill recipe has been unlocked. You can now brew it using the cauldron in the hut. Provided you have the required ingredients. All the unlocked recipes can be viewed in the skill tree at any time. Place Y over the skill to learn more about it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll try. Get out of the canyon. So wait. We didn't face any dragon. We just kill a bunch of enemies and we didn't even do it. Like the game did it for us. And the guy is gone. Do you guys think this game reminds me also of Alice Madness Return? Do you guys think that we're insane? We didn't do any damage to that thing. Okay, maybe here. Okay, we cannot do anything in there. So we gotta exit the canyon now. Are we gonna have to fight enemies along the way? Yeah, we have. That's fine. Oh, look at that, another teeth. Yes, right? Where are they? Okay, we were able to get two tooth from this canyon. That's actually fantastic. Uh... Any more enemies are going to show up along the way? I mean, I'd appreciate if we can get more teeth. I mean, if we cannot, then okay. But if we can get them, that would be great. And then we exit the canyon, right? Special treat. Charge power shot by holding it and then... Press R to fire a special treat. Special treats consume mana. Okay. Change the active special treat and unlock different treats at the cauldron. That's okay. I mean, that's pretty now, cool. Make it special. Boost your shot with the gauntlet's energy. That was awesome, and it just uses one. How the hell? Hmm. We're getting somewhere. Now, what was it the mushroom wanted? So, what do you want me to do now? So, I have to go all the way back. Okay, that 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 doesn't sound that difficult. We can just go all the way back and take care of it. Uh, or, or, or shots are not that good. I'm not the best at archery. That's for sure. 
This is why I never tried it. I actually did try it once and I sucked at it, so... Pretty much what you guys are seeing is actually way better than how I was in real life. That was pretty bad in real life. I did hit a couple of shots though, so I'll give a palm in the back to myself for that, I gotta be honest. And then which way are we going? Uh, we still gotta cross the bridge. So we could cross this bridge over here and maybe get to those mushrooms from the back. Hmm. Is that the answer? An old ritual statue. You spilled those to ward off the winter. Days of yore. And a bunch of enemies that we don't want to deal with. The mushrooms are probably going to be in here, right? Wait, is this the answer? Do you guys see that this is where the mushrooms are? Yeah, that's a boy, right? Is that the ninth guy? Are you the knight? Or are we going to have to kill you? I hope we don't have to kill you. I want to be your friend. I'm here for uh, I'll be damned. Uh, Look who's there. It's the little kitty goat sent by the stiff neck gnat to rob me of the explosives. I'm not all warmed up after the gnat, but it's still gonna be enough for you. <laughs> one stone, one dead Oh, right. boss fight already. Oh, no, 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 no. Refill. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Run, 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 run. Oh, nice shot. Oh! Wait, how do you even dodge that? You won't snake your way out of this one. Try harder. Oh no, that thing run run run. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? One stone, one dead raider. Okay, we got this. We got this in the back. Okay, that's good. Where are you gonna show up now? Oh, dodge that! Oh no, no, enemy, enemy, enemy! Keep running, keep running! Keep, stay away, stay away! Dodge that! Charge up! Did we win? Yes! Yes, we won! What? Okay, sure. Oh my god, that guy was doing two damage per hit. That was intense. This was one of the most intense fights that I've had in a while. I gotta be honest with you guys. Oh, I wasn't scared. I forgot that we can dash. So that, that's kind of like what almost killed me right there. And the game was actually really nice. It gave me some items that you could have grabbed during the fight to, well, replenish your stuff. The mushroom's blood is still warm as the girl in a peculiar mask leaves his lair. Isn't that a lovely scene? Well, I guess I'm not the only peculiar looking person around. Hi, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with. See who you are. See what you did. Look, I can explain. Never do that. Not in front of me. Whispers can be extremely loud if you know where to listen. Don't mind the poor soul here. He will grow back anyway. That is how mushrooms are. Coming here was a dead end, though. You can deliver the package later. But at the end of the day, that's not what gets you past the bridge. I don't quite... Your Bella Mushrooms and I made a deal to get rid of the, the dra dragon. Is just an idea, a facade to the real problems of the forest. Following the trail of honey would be the first step towards dealing with them, without making so much unnecessary noise. Oh, I get it. The operation goes undercover. So, where does this trail start, exactly? On the offering site, under the mill, in front of the so-called dragon's den take this pot of honey plant a lure take cover and see who shows up 
I'm sure the result may surprise us. You may want to seek me out after you're done there. Some princess's beauty sleep may be just about to end. Let us proceed with the investigation, then, Mr... I'm a man of shadows. Make sure to never turn your back on them, masked girl. A Grand Mushroom, a quiet, cold-headed, cunning agent, a counterintelligence operative, a master in his craft, a tough, tight-lipped, a bit of a creepy figure that's mistrustful of almost everyone and prefers to stay in the shadows. He's always willing to bend the law to get to the truth, which he seeks with the patience of an inquisitor. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, ooh. Okay. Go to the dragons then. I mean, we're gonna go to the dragons then. But first, we gotta find a place so we can actually pray. Because I don't want to die and have to do all of this over and over again. Like, I'm not sure how it works. Uh, I think... I, but and, and I would rather not to take my chances. Like, if I'm gonna lose my things, I don't wanna lose them. Period. So, let's exit. We're not getting more, so that's okay. Uh, we gotta take care of this thing. So that thing went up. That's okay. Can I... Oh, this is like... This, that's like a that's like a Majora's Mask type of thingy. Like, if you hit them from the front, they won't don't do anything. If you hit them from behind to the eye, then they will die. Look at this little thing. Did it fall or did it stay up there? I think it stayed up there. And if it stayed up there, then I'm it's it's it makes me sad. Kill that thing. We don't care about it. Oh, here it is. Nice. So if we check our map. Right, we're right here and we have a black cat in there. So we're gonna be selecting this guy. Unpin that thing and we could be going all the way around. There is even a chest, a favorite. Interesting. Why favorite? Interesting. Is this a Dragon's Den sort of situation? Huh. There's so many things. This map looks absolutely beautiful too. And we have multiple shrines. We even have a cooking hut and then we have Borby, Borby and Jack over here. Okay, so can I click on the shrine and teleport over there? I guess we cannot. I do want to check, there you go, that's another saving spot, and my guess would be that this is where that cat is. No, that's not the favorite. So we can touch the cat if you want to. Get a couple of items from here. We don't have food to cook, and we want to check the favorite, but that's something that we're going to be doing later on. Speak, touch the cat and see what's the cat going to do. It's probably going to send us to the hut. Can we put anything in there? We cannot. So that's actually pretty interesting. Before doing anything else, let's go to the hut. In the hut, we're going to be able to improve our stuff, and that makes me happy. So, click on this, and let's see. What do I want to improve? Do I have any hearts? We do not. Nothing that we can do. We can do deep pockets right now. We have two teeth, and we have some extra stuff. But, what does this do? Requires more branches, sharp arrows. Can I see what do you do? Wooden arrows deal increased damage. I like that. Sharpshooter, what do you do? Drawing the bow is significantly faster. Not interested in that. It reduces dash cooldown. That sounds pretty good. Or a knocking arrow is significantly faster. Craft two hex arrows for the price of one. This sounds absolutely fantastic. And we just need a couple of arrow of feathers for that. Um, this is the effect hocus, a male range force wave. Or you can use the sunlight hocus. Or the Leech Hocus, depending on your morality. So, uh, more skills that we can actually use. And we can actually learn it right now if you want to. Grants three additional mana. That sounds actually good. So, I think we're going to go for Witch Apprentice. Just because it sounds good. So, I want to go for it. It requires two teeth. Whereas, this one requires three. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be doing sharp arrows. And then, we're going to be going for this. I like Deep Pockets. Oh, no. Deep Pockets first. There you go. And then, after that, I think we cannot do anything else. Yeah, deep pockets first, because I just want to increase my limit. It was pretty bad. Can I improve my more? We have a lost page, so we need to unlock that if we want to keep proceeding. Can I click on this and teleport whatever I want? It seems like I cannot. So we're going to have to touch the cat one more time. Uh, let's go down. Let's touch the cat. So 
So we gotta be careful with our resources. Because we touched that hut, and unfortunately, look at that, we cannot touch it again. So we actually lost whatever resources were inside of it. So that's a little bit too bad for us. If you go here all the way to the top, uh, there's actually nothing for us. But we can always go back to that shrine so we can touch it and maybe get a save. Is that how it works? Because the game did say save often. So I don't want to be missing my opportunity. So click on it. Wait, we cannot put it. So how do we save in this game? Do you pause and save? Save and quit. Okay, so you can save and quit. Beautiful. So I guess by sitting in here, this is where we're going to be wrapping things up for the day. I'm trying to touch that, but it doesn't let me do anything. So I hope that if I die, I don't lose things. Because it seems like it's going to be really easy to die on this game. I hope that you guys are enjoying and you guys are having fun. This game is absolutely intriguing. Just look at the view. The So far, the gameplay, the movement, the graphics. It looks absolutely stunning. This is an adventure that I'm definitely going to enjoy covering. And I feel like it's a little bit too creepy. So those mixes up of creepy stuff, you guys know that I'm all in for it. It's what I enjoy the most. Uniqueness. That's the best. But anyways, if you guys like this and want me to like just... Keep hammering YouTube with more videos of Blacktail. You can let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel so you can catch with more. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the game. But on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.